Hey, what's up, fellas? I know it's been a long, long time since I've done a, a system update for y'all. <clears throat> I got a lot of new stuff, and I got a lot of stuff that went wrong that I gotta tell y'all about. But, uh, if y'all don't want to hear about all that, y'all can just skip ahead to uh, all the base demo in later. I apologize if I have some background noise. There's a lot of construction going around in my neighborhood. But uh, anyways, <clears throat> first off, Boss Audio. What a joke of a company, like for real. Okay, so I bought this amp. It's a AR4000D. Supposedly 3000 watts RMS at one ohm. I, I've seen a channel by the name of Big D Wiz dyno this amp, and at one ohm, you're lucky to get a thousand out of it. So that's one big thumbs down for me right there. But I went ahead and bought the amp anyways just to see how it would do. I had it slamming on this Gothic 12 for about two months, it did fine. That was down at uh, two ohms. And then I tried to put it with a Power Acoustic 15 in this box. And the amp instantly blew. No power light, no nothing, just wouldn't come on. So, I shipped it back to Boss Audio in freaking California, which I live in North Carolina, by the way. Had to pay $18.90 for the freaking shipping. It got to California. They got it. They said, oh, it's working up to our factory standards. So they just sent it back. I plugged it up. Put it on this new SCAR 15. Nothing. It's still dead. So, screw Boss Audio. They're a bunch of snake oil salesmen. If I could give some advice to any of y'all who are first like starting out in car audio... Do not buy from Boss Audio. Their equipment is subpar. There is literally no engineering at all. <laughs> and they're overall just like a shoddy company. So I would not recommend Boss Audio to anybody who's first starting out. I would recommend that you go ahead and bite the bullet and buy just premium audio stuff like this scar sub that I finally had to just bite the bullet and buy because my last one blew <clears throat> anyways since this amp is dead I have an old my old power acoustic amp back here that I have running on this and what a bunch of people don't know is that those old um, power acoustic uh, RZR 2500s that you get at Walmart those amps are good down to 1 ohm <clears throat> and that's what I have on this new SCAR DDX 15 right here <clears throat> so a couple specs on the box here my dad built this box for me it is Double layer baffle, three quarter inch MDF. It is tuned to approximately 29.9 hertz. I just tried to get it to 30. So the port is, I believe, two and a half inches wide. The dimensions are 20 by 20 by 20. <clears throat> And I fiberglassed resin the entire interior of the box. <clears throat> and it slams really, really hard. Only on a thousand watts, which I believe I'm getting out of that old RZR 2500. But, uh, that's pretty much it for the system now. I'll, uh, skip ahead for some bass demo in here in just a second. I'll see you on a second. <clears throat> oh yeah, and also, 
for all y'all guys to think that you need big gauge power wire, you really don't. Because I have, I don't know if you can see it back there, but my old power acoustic, I have it on 8 gauge, 8 gauge power wire, 8 gauge ground, <clears throat> all the way to the front. Just one run of 8 gauge, and this sub is flexing every single dang thing in this car. So, I'll go ahead and show you all that here in a second. Start her up. I got an old dual head unit here. <clears throat> Anyways, I'm about to go drive to my secret spot. Oh yeah, for all y'all base heads out there, number one rule, find a secret spot. Just like EXO on his channel. Just, the last thing you wanna do is go annoying your neighbors with some freaking loud bass. Just don't be a douchebag and just find a secret spot where like nobody's at so you're just not annoying people. All right, I'll see y'all guys in a second. Alright guys, we're at the secret spot now. I'm gonna switch over to my other new camera here right now. How's that? New camera. Hopefully y'all can hear me. Um let me get my Bluetooth pulled up here. <clears throat> I can see this thing flexing.
thing's getting down. 115, one scar DDX 15, and a 30 hertz box that's about 3.9 cubic feet. That's about it for now. I'll see y'all guys later.